Prayer for the 2022 National and Local Elections Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. The assembly condemned Susanna to death, but Susanna cried aloud, O eternal God, you know what is hidden and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die though I have done none of the things with which these wicked men have charged me. The Lord heard her prayer. 
as she was being led to execution, God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel, and he cried aloud, I will have no part in the death of this woman. All the people turned and asked him, What is this you are saying? He stood in their midst and continued, Are you such fools, O children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to court, for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the people returned in haste. To Daniel, the elder said, Come, sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, Separate these two far from each other, that I may examine them. After they were separated one from the other, he called one of them and said, How you have grown evil with age! Now have your past sins come to term, passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty, although the Lord says, The innocent and the just you shall not put to death. Now then, if you were a witness, tell me under what tree you sow them together. Under a mastic tree, he answered. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you your head, for the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him and split you in two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one to be brought. Daniel said to him, Offspring of Canaan, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you, lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel, and in their fear they yielded to you. But the daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now then, tell me under what tree you surprised them together. Under an oak, he said. Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you also your head, for the angel of God waits with the sword to cut you in two, so as to make an end of you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, Blessing God who saves those who hope in him. They rose up against the two elders, for they were, by their own words, Daniel had convicted them of perjury. According to the law of Moses, they inflicted on them the penalty they had plotted to impose on their neighbor. They put them to death. Thus was innocent blood spared that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, 
for you are at my side. Please all stand. Sinabi ng buong mahal, di ko nais na mamatay ang mga makasalanan. Nagpapagong kalungan upang sila ay mapuhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, you testify on your own behalf, so your testimony cannot be verified. Jesus answered and said to them, Even if I do testify on my own behalf, my testimony can be verified, because I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I came from and where I am going. You judge by appearances but I do not judge anyone. And even if I should judge, my judgment is valid because I am not alone, but it is I and the Father who sent me. Even in your law, it is written that the testimony of two men can be verified. I testify on my behalf, and so does the Father who sent me. So they said to him, Where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. He spoke these words while teaching in the treasury in the temple area. But no one arrested him because his hour has not yet come. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. One of my favorite Bible stories is what we have heard in the first reading. Ito po ang kwento ni Susana at kung papaano siya inakusahan ng dalawang elders kung saan gusto sana siyang halayin, pero hindi siya pumayag. Kaya ang nangyari ay binalikan siya ng dalawang elder na to at sinabi na siya ay isang masamang babae. If you get the chance to have, to read no, the longer version, no, it's very um, profound how one can be accused, no? falsely, kapag hindi nakuha ang gusto ng masasama. However, the story is that, you know, this Susana girl was crying out to the Lord and her prayer was heard through Daniel. At si Daniel ngayon ang umusig at nag-imbestiga Sino ba talaga ang nagsasabi ng totoo? And it was found out that these two elders, no, elder sana, no, was very inconsistent with their testimony. San ba sila nakita doon sa ibang puno pala? So it means they were not telling the truth because hindi magkapareho yung kanilang sinasabi. Testimony, bearing witness. In our gospel reading also, Jesus is talking about him giving a testimony. And since it is only him giving testimony, sabi ng mga elders, hindi rin ma-verify 
dahil wala kang kasama. In the Jewish law, para ma-verify ang isang katotohanan, at least kailangan mo ng dalawang witness. No? Para kung magkapareho ang inyong sinasabi, baka nga totoo ang inyong tinitestify. How are we to relate it in our everyday lives, my dear brothers and sisters? Lahat tayo dito, we bear witness. We bear a testimony. To what? To our very Christian life. To the very norm, values that we somehow hold on to dearly. Pero madalas, marami rin tayong inconsistencies. Papaano? Iba yung sinasabi natin sa ating ginagawa. Iba yung pinoprofess natin sa inooperate natin. Iba yung operative image natin sa professed image natin. And I guess this is what we are invited to reflect on today. Lahat tayo dito ay nagbibigay saksi sa pagiging tagasunod ni Kristo. Lahat tayo dito ay disipulo ni Jesus, mga tagasunod niya. But people will always be asking, how can you prove that you are one? You testify to this man, pero paano namin ba verify? Ah, by the very life that we are living. Paul the Six would say, you know, that modern man does not anymore listen to teachers. No? And if they do listen to teachers, it is because they are also witnesses. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng witness? Nagbibigay saksi sa kanilang tinuturo. Kagaya niyo sa aming mga pari, ano, marami kaming tinuturo, no? Marami kaming sinasabi sa pulpito, pero I am sure, hindi kayo maniniwala sa amin kapag hindi namin ito ginagawa. Kami ay mga fake. Pero ang parehong hamon ay pwedeng ma-relate sa atin lahat, hindi lang sa aming mga pare. Hindi lang sa aming mga taong simbahan. We should have integrity we should have integral process and it is a continuing integration nang sa gayon hindi tayo compartmentalize iisa lang ang mukha hindi doble Kara. In two weeks' time, we will celebrate Easter. And we only have two weeks no, in our Lenten celebration. We beg God for the grace to have that integrity. No? We continue to be integrated. No? To the very profession that we witness to. Ito ho ay proseso. No? Pag tayo ay nadapa, okay lang. Tumayo uli. It is a constant process. No? And we cannot do it alone. We need, we need God's grace. So, so for the next two weeks, my dear brothers and sisters, may we reflect on how we bear witness, how we testify to the faith that we profess to. At makikita lang ito kung magkapareho 
ang ating sinasampalatayanan sa mismong ating ginagawa araw-araw. Amen. Please all stand. We remember the mercy that Jesus extended to the adulterous woman. Let us turn to him in prayer, reassured that we will be shown a mercy. In every prayer, let us all say, Lord, we trust in you. Lord, we entrust in you. Through sin, may experience the loving mercy of the Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we trust, trust in, in you. you. That we may refrain from passing judgment on others, but look instead at our own lives in the eyes of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in you. That all those weighed down by hardship and worry may realize that God is never far away from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in you. That the Lord may strengthen those who have been unjustly accused. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in you. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in you. That the disease may find happiness and peace in God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we trust in you. Heavenly Father, help us to be forgiving toward people who treat us badly. May we show them the same compassion that your Son Jesus extended to the woman caught in adultery. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed Please are you, Lord, stand. God of all creation, for the goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, you will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And the spirit and Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you, as the fruit of bodily penance, a joyful purity of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure. 
so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the miseries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us mercy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity 
in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Amen. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed by our faults, and by following Christ, hasten our steps upward to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Set free from their sins, O Lord, we pray, the people who call upon you, that living a holy way of life, they may be kept safe from every trial through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain in you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by living a holy life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.